Hi everyone, welcome to the Sewing Swan. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy crochet shawl using a V-stitch. This is super easy and super simple and super quick. I had this lovely variegated color yarn and I was looking for a pattern that is so simple that it shows um, the beauty of this yarn and really I could not come across something more suitable for what I want. So if you have a variegated yarn or a yarn with a special accent or a flower yarn, this is a perfect stitch to go. This is a beginner friendly uh, stitch or pattern, but even if you are not a beginner and you need a quick pattern to go, this is ideal also. Here is this um, figure to help you. You chain multiples of threes, just the number you like until you reach the, the length you, you like. Just make sure. Uh, it is multiples of three and when you reach the length you, you like whether it is a scarf or a blanket or a, um, a shawl you just make sure it is dividable by three and then add one only one chain so here we go our knot and then we go on chaining multiples of three this is so simple you will love it one two three 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 one two, three, one, oops, two, three, one, two, three. You keep on chaining until you reach the length you want. I will stop here as a sample for the tutorial and I will only add one chain. plus one then not counting the one on the hook I will insert my hook into the fourth chain from the hook I will count one two three and insert my hook into the fourth to make a double crochet so yarn over and I will count from the hook one two three and four. One, two, three, and into the fourth I enter my hook. Double crochet. Like that. So, this counts as the first double crochet. Always, we will start all rows and end all rows at the same way this is what is great about this pattern it's so easy to follow so chain two and into the same stitch into the same chain stitch you made your double crochet you will make the second double crochet And here, the V is forming. Can you see it? Okay, let's do this more so it becomes more clear. Without any chaining, you get the yarn over and you double crochet 
after skipping two chains from the foundation chain. So you skip the one after the one you chain you, you, you double crocheted from, you count after that one, two, and you enter to the three. You remember the counts of three at the foundation chain? That was the reason why. So you skip two chains two chains and you double crochet into the third all the way until the foundation chain is finished. So you double crochet chain two and double crochet into the same stitch yarn over skip two change from the foundation chain two stitches and insert your hook into the third to make a double crochet chain two and at the same stitch you make another double crochet yarn over and you make a second double crochet yarn over and you skip two chains from the bottom one two and into the third you insert your hook and you double crochet chain two another double crochet into the same stitch okay are you starting to see it now our V stitch is forming what gives it the the V form is that we double crochet twice into the same space with space of two chains at the top that's what gives it the V shape so let's continue yarn over skip two chains from the uh, foundation chain and double crochet into the third chain two to make the space yarn over and double crochet into the same chain yarn over skip two one two and into the third you enter your hook and double crochet chain two to form the V yarn over and double crochet into the same space yarn over skip two from the bottom chain our foundation chain double crochet into the third chain two yarn over and double crochet into the same stitch now we are heading to our last V stitch in the foundation chain so yarn over skip two chains into the third you make your double crochet chain two another double crochet into the same space into the same chain and now at the last stitch you have here at the very last stitch you double crochet just stand by itself a vertical one yarn over
and double crochet here. The beautiful thing that every time we will end a line, we will end a row, is, is just the same way we will end each row. And every time we will start one, it's just the same one, we will start each row. Okay, turn your work. Let's move to row number two, here. At the beginning of each row, we will chain four. Do you remember when we, uh, when we double crocheted, crocheted into the fourth chain from the hook? That's we are repeating here. So you chain four, one, two, three, and four. You see this space? Let me undo it so you can catch it again. Here. We've, we have just ended our first row, so we will turn it, we will turn our work and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And from the very same stitch here, from the stitch that this chain four is coming from, we double crochet. You see that? Our first V is, is forming. So two chains work as the first double crochet and two chains are working like the space, the space sorry, between the two double crochets. Now, yarn over. Do you remember when we used to skip two chains from the foundation chain? Now we are not, you can go this way, you can go and skip and counting chains, but I will tell you a, a much easier way. Just skip a double crochet, just skip one. So here is the very next one to our work. Here is your last double crochet is coming from this chain. Here. So you will skip this one and you will double crochet into this one, into the top stitch of this one, like that. Yarn over and you will skip the first double crochet of the V-stitch, the last V-stitch, and you insert your hook into the top of the second double crochet. And you double crochet. Like that, you chain two and you double crochet into the same space. And here is our V is forming again. Yarn over, skip the next double crochet from the previous row and insert your hook into the next one and double crochet into the top of it, the top chain of it. Here, yeah, here is your double crochet. You chain two to, f to form the V shape, your shape and into the very same chain you double crochet again you go like that all the way until you finish your row okay let me revise this with you when we finish the first row we chained four then we double crochet into the very stitch under our chain four that was the top of the last 
double crochet standing alone at the last of row one from the single stitch that we added okay and then we skipped this double crochet that was the last before the standing alone double crochet and we double crocheted into the second from the top we double crocheted twice with chain two space in between and we kept skipping one and double crocheting into the next we double crochet twice with two two chain space to give us our v shape okay once more and then i will meet you at the end of this row yarn over we skip this double crochet and we double crochet into the next chain two another double crochet into the same space here so I see you guys at the end of this row not to make this video too long for you here we reach the end of our row and here is the last V stitch we have before the standing alone double crochet we get yarn over we skip the next double crochet and we double crochet twice into the top of the second with chain two space in between and here is our last V stitch is forming and now we double crochet into this where into this this is the chain four we made at uh, the beginning of the row so we just double crochet into the top of it into the second stitch of it it's a little bit tricky here you just make your way through that was the first one and here you double crochet like that so let's turn our work and start the next row the same way so chain four two three four and from the very stitch the chain came from you double crochet twice you I'm sorry you double crochet once this time so you formed your V okay and then yarn over you skip this first double crochet from the V stitch and you double crochet into the next first double crochet chain two and second double crochet yarn over you skip the, the, ne the, the next double crochet and you double crochet twice into the next once chain two and twice yarn over you skip the next double crochet and you take the second from the V you double crochet into the top chain two and double crochet again once more yarn over skip the first double crochet from the V stitch and double crochet into the second chain two another double crochet you see this 
I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, we reached the end of the row and here is our fourth chain, the beginning of the row with the same double crochet coming for th from the same space formed a V. We have yarn over and we insert our hook into the second chain. You just count one, two from the fourth chain. We made and you get your standing alone double crochet like that. You turn your work. See how it is beautifully uh, shaping. You just get the length you like and you go up as further as you wish and you're finished. Here, you chain four and four. You double crochet from the same space here. Okay, yarn over, you skip the first double crochet and you double crochet into the next. Chain two, yarn over, double crochet into the same space. Here is a V-stitch, yarn over, skip one, get into the second, double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the same space. How easy and simple is this? Once more, yarn over, skip the, the, the next double crochet and double crochet into the next. Chain two, another double crochet into the same space. And here is how is your V is forming. I will meet you at the end of the row.